Hello, in this video we're going to show you how to create a Cocos 2DX project so it's fresh. Because by default, when you create a project, you get a bunch of files, you get App Delegate and Hello World Scene. It's not a bad thing because it's great to have a project that basically works and actually shows you something. But I know a, a lot of users have, have requested how do we make the project as bare bones as possible. And people have asked me, can I just remove these four files from classes? And the simple answer is no. You don't want to remove App Delegate. You need App Delegate. And for the most part, you're not going to do many changes in App Delegate. So we're not actually going to delete these and rewrite them. We'll, we'll go in there and just change what we need to. But most of it you can leave as it is, and you don't really need to understand it. But for Hello World Scene, not only will you probably rename it to something else like Splash Scene, Main Menu Scene, Game Scene or anything else and change the contents, you'll create multiple scenes on top of Hello World Scene. So for that reason, we're actually going to just remove the Hello World Scene so it's no longer in our project like so and we're going to create a new scene from scratch. What we're going to do, just to keep it simple, it's going to copy and paste the app delegate files. It's going to rename it. I'm just going to call it example. Oh, no, I'm going to call it fresh theme. Copy that. Add these to our project. Even though I'm doing this video on a Mac using Xcode and I'm just going to build it for iOS, it works for Android. The process is exactly the same. There's one extra step that you have to do, which we'll show you later on in this video. So we won't be creating a separate video for Android because like I said, it's essentially the same. So in fresh scene, we're going to select everything, remove it. Like I said, we're gonna do it from scratch because I could easily just copy and paste the Hello World scene, just rename it and say, this is how it is. But we're just gonna you know, write it out ourselves and explain what's going on. So first of all, it's going to do hash if NDEF, which stands for hash if not defined. And for this, you can put whatever you want. Some you want a unique name. I'm going to put fresh underscore scene. Not really going to explain this too much, simply because it's more C++ code than like Cocos 2DX specific code. But the general gist of what we're doing here is preventing multiple includes or multiple instances of this class, aka you can't be included several times, and because the problem with that is you'll have multiple functions with the same name, multiple variables with the same name, and as you know, you can't have that. So this prevents it. So literally every class you want this inside it. You only need to put it in the header file, not the CPP file. Hash end if just ends this hash if because like how you would do an if statement, like so you can think of the hash end if being this last curly brace so it knows where to end the code and inside here is what we're gonna is where we're going to put all of our class header first of all we're gonna do hash include and we need cocos 2d dot h we need we need the cocos file and now we're gonna create our class and for the class, I'm just going to call it fresh scene. This needs to inherit from the Cocos 2D layer. And now what we need to do is create a few public methods. And what we need to do first is static cocos 2d colon colon scene asterisk create scene. You can rename this to whatever you want. So just remember it because we'll be using it later on and you will also be using it later on. Create scene method is used when creating an instance of the scene in another class and actually doing something with it. One example is if let's say you're on the main menu scene, you either click the play button, you want to take them to the game scene, you would create an instance using the create scene method and then actually switch to the game scene. So the create scene creates the theme. The next method is virtual bool init. 
and this just initializes the scene. For this, you don't call it, it gets called automatically. The code inside in it is generally to set up your scene, so to set up any variables, to start positioning any sprites that you want to add initially to the scene. Whereas create scene is just to create the bare bone structure of a scene and it generally doesn't change from scene to scene, apart from the odd naming that changes, because obviously in the create scene method we'll refer to fresh scene. If you had another scene called game scene, you refer to game scene but apart from that really nothing else should change whereas the differences come in other methods such as the init method and then finally you gotta do create underscore func and this takes a parameter of your class name which for me is create I mean which is fresh scene and you don't call this this is called itself this is just linked with the creation of this scene so now that we got the header all set up we're going to go to the .cpp file. In the .cpp file, first of all, we need to do ha ooh, hash include. We need to include the header file, so fresh scene.h. Telesense isn't working for some reason. I'm sure I did the files correctly. It should be okay. You need to do using underscore namespace cc. Yeah, it's clearly included the Cocos 2D file there because maybe it just needs a build. Most likely that's what it is. We'll find out in a moment. It's going to put scene asterisk, not hello world, fresh scene colon colon create scene. And in here, there's a few things we need to do. We need to do auto scene equals scene colon colon create and now we're actually just creating the scene using the built-in scene method within Cocos 2D. Actually you know what I'm going to remove that simply because we're going to get a couple of errors now so we can actually show you what is part of the Cocos 2D namespace because you can easily include this and we actually recommend including this in projects once you know what belongs to what namespace and you're a bit more familiar with it but before that I would say don't include this so you understand what's going on next we're just going to create a layer layer equals fresh theme colon colon create though we didn't create this method explicitly it's inherited so you don't need to worry about any of that good stuff now we're going to do scene, add child, and what we're adding to the scene is the layer itself because the layer is what we're adding our items to or you would add your items to like a background sprite or a button, you would add that to the layer, layer is added to the scene and the scene is what is displayed and manipulated with. Sounds all complex but it's really not because you don't need to worry about it and you just return scene from this method. Now finally, we're going to do bool, fresh scene, in it. And now in here, what you need to do is check if it's been initialized, or if it hasn't been initialized. If not, return false. Otherwise, just do return true. And in between here, is where you would put your scene initialization code. So put your scene initialization code here. There you go, we got our scene set up. So if I were to build this now, let's see what happens. We should hopefully get an error. Yep, we got an error. So let's just scroll down. I know where it is, but it's gonna click on this so I can show you the flow. So I can actually find the error. There are so many warnings. So if we click that, what it's done is taking us to the app delegate.cpp. Remember, I was saying earlier in this video, for the most part, you won't need to touch the app delegate, apart from a few times at the start of the project. But one of the things you will need to do is change what scene it first goes to. Because if you leave Hello World scene and that's your initial scene, then you don't need to go in here and do anything. But because we've created a new scene, it's got a different name, it's got a different class inside it, we have to amend 
some stuff in app delegate so go here just chain this to fresh scene so we include in the fresh scene file this should now disappear scroll down we should have one more problem and it's saying auto scene equals hello world create scene this create scene method is what we've created here like i said we can rename it something else so what we need to do is just change hello world to fresh scene and that's it so if i were to build now it will actually compile successfully in a few seconds and if I were to actually run it in the simulator it runs successfully more thinking there's nothing on there that's simply because we haven't added anything don't worry you don't need to go into the app delegate every time you create a scene it's just for the first scene that's going to be displayed because the app delegate handles all the stuff before you actually start interacting with the application and then he say this is a scene that we want to start on probably something like splash scene or main menu scene that's everything done but i did say that there was one extra thing you have to do for android and for that is go to proj.android go to jni go to android.mk and you just want to edit that in a text editor i'm just going to use sublime here where it says local source files these are the files that it needs to compile. It only needs to include the .cpp, not the .h files. As you can see, it says hello world scene. As we no longer have that, we need to change that to fresh scene. Ours is in the classes folder, but if you were somewhere else, just make sure you adjust this path accordingly. And if you add more classes, not just scenes, .cpp files, you basically want to do backslash dot dot forward slash dot dot forward slash classes or wherever your file is located and then do example dot cpp and then you don't need to put a backslash here unless you're adding another source file so that's just the one change you need to do for android i'm actually going to save that apart from that that's how you actually make your project as bare bone as possible once you've generated it for c plus plus if you're interested in JavaScript, don't worry. We've got a separate video covering that, so check that out. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on our education platform, sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions.php. There will be a link in the description. And I was going to add this project to something like GitHub so you could ask, access the source code, but realistically, you don't need to because by default you get a you you do get a scene hello world scene so you've got essentially what we've created but it's just named differently so there's no point in me adding the code if you like this video give it a thumbs up please comment and subscribe as it really does help keep the videos free plus it also helps us understand what you like and what you don't like about the videos and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day